Hey, this is Chris Lickness with MobilitySite.com. Today, I had the Samson Blackjack before you. Wait, wait, you don't believe me? That doesn't look like the Blackjack? Oh, you're right, it's not. This is the Blackjack. Today, we were going to uh, give you a little unboxing of the uh, Singular Blackjack otherwise known as the uh, Samson SGH I-607 and this one here that we showed you to tease it was the SGH I-320 it's tri-band instead of quad band like this one so let's see here it's, uh, got this today so uh, hadn't opened it yet uh, it's probably been open before and I'm not even sure it might have service on it already so let's see got a getting started guide Nothing else in there. Got a CD which probably just has, yeah, active sync and maybe some trials or something like that. So let's see here. We got a connector. Looks like a sync charge cable. Uh, this one's out of the package, so this one's probably been pre charged. Uh, that's actually a charge cable here. It's got the same connector as the sync cable here. So let's just set these aside here. They sent you two bat sent me two batteries. Let's see here. This is a span standard size battery. Uh, let's see. Can't see what the capacity of this battery is. Can y'all see that? I can't see it. We'll find out in just a minute here. Anyway, we got a battery there and the same battery here and then, like I said that sync charge cable looked like whoever sent this to me uh, might have already uh, pre pre charged it what we got here oh this is the battery uh, a battery carrying case I guess oh it's got a little I don't know what that is oh you can charge your wait a minute no, they won't fit there anyway. Alright, so we'll look at that. We'll probably do what men don't do and read the instructions eventually. So anyway, and then you got your singular blackjack. So set that down and we'll go ahead and put some of this away. Put that back there. So this is the uh, first, uh, or the, excuse me, the second singular phone to uh, support 3G uh, first being the 8525 which was just announced last week as well uh, that's a pocket PC phone whereas this is a smartphone so anyway uh, let's take a look here right, so let's get all this finished up putting it back in this box here just to keep some mess out of the way it's got a uh, it's a smartphone like I said and it's got a 1.3 megapixel camera runs Windows Mobile 5 as you very well know that and uh, it's got the same slim form factor as the uh, 320 that we reviewed a couple weeks ago and there's your box right there Samson or SGH I-607 if you want to pause that and read any of that if you actually can it says it's a, got 128 megabyte flash ROM 64 RAM might take some micro SD slot capable of video all that good junk so let's set this over here and let's uh well should we let you see what it looks like next to the uh, i320 it doesn't look exactly like it it's a little bigger and it's got this hump on the back for where the camera is at so let's see this side by side I'm going to zoom in on that. This is the side profile. As you can see, this one here is the blackjack, and this one here is the 320. So, difference is the camera, I guess. The uh, front is pretty similar, the keyboards and so forth. The keys are a little laid out better and don't have the dual rockers like the uh, some people complain on the 320. 
So, but anyway, that's the difference in that size. Let's do a little something else. Let's throw something in the middle here. Remember that one? Come out and let you see all of them next to each other here. There you go. So let's see. A little stack here. We'll put the uh, 320 at the bottom. Q in the middle. We'll make a little Oreo here. And let's take this down a level, let y'all see that. I'm going to readjust the camera and give you a side profile here. I'll be right. And there's you a side profile of the three of the devices together. And like I said, the uh, 320 is on the bottom. The uh, Motorola Q is in the middle. And is the white cream of a Oreo with the uh, Samsung Blackjack on top. So anyway, that's, that's them. Alright, so now let's, uh, let's take this thing open and, or get these, uh, bat this battery in here and see what it does. Took that off the back. Got a little rubberized feel, but it's mostly plastic. You push down and pop that open, and there is a singular card in there already. SIM card's right there. As you can see, I'm not going to pull it out. I have singular service personally, so uh, I'm more than ready to put my own card in there battery just slid in there just like that so micro SD goes there by the way which I don't have one on me so let's pop this back on and get this uh, protector off it's nice that they put these on here but uh I don't like them on so alrighty Let's uh, turn it on and see what we got. Does this turn on the same way as the other one? The screen is a little bit different on this one than on the uh, 320. It's, well, it's because it's square. So let's see here. Maybe the uh, battery is not charged because it is not turning on. Let me take a look at it and see what's going on here. Alright, after looking around the unit one time, noticing the differences between the two devices, I uh, found that there is a power button. Unlike the um, 320, there is no power button here. Right there. So we'll turn that on. Oops, wrong side. And we'll watch it go. To keep that glare off of there. Wow, that's rough. So, anyway, so uh, the uh, battery on this, you get two of them, and I believe that they're 1200 milliamp batteries. And like I said, it's a quad band GSM phone, uh, got 3G, and uh, I might have missed it while I was uh, looking up, but uh, there's a 3G logo on here on the 8525 at this point so um, there we go it is there and uh, I'm not in a uh, in a uh, 3G equipped area so uh, you see there the E up at the top there for edge so let's see let's see what they give us here singular music Windows Media Player, Shop Music, Music ID, Streaming Music, Music Apps, Community. Let's see something here. Let's open this up and see if they've got anything on here already. And I tell you what, let's uh, move this camera. Uh-oh. I have a text message already. This isn't my phone, so... Uh, but let's get you a little better here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to dismiss this. Cancel. And let's see. Okay. All music. Nothing there. So let me hit the back button here. And they got a custom skin. Menu. Let's just get out of here. And hit start. 
Let's go to Singular Music again. Oops, I can't type or I can't. Singular Music. Let's go to Shop Music. Let's see what we can do here. It's connecting. May not be able to get a good connection here on Edge and uh. I don't know what services are available on this sim that they've given me, and the screen's timed out already. So, okay, well, I don't, like I said, I don't know what they've got on here for me, so I'm going to go ahead and get back out of here using the back button and go back to the front page, or actually back to the start menu and see what else we got. Singular video, media net, singular mail. Organizer, camera, that's what the camera interface looks like. Loading. Okay, so, well, you can't see the screen if I was to put something in front of it there. There we go. We'll just do that. So, but anyway, all right, get back out of there. Just giving you a little, uh, little overview here. You can get I am or get good. Let's see. Oops. I am uh, a little bit too fast for this, huh? My stuff, games, Internet Explorer, applications. Let's see what they got. Oh, they got an RSS reader. Nice. Smart search. Viewer for viewing documents and such. That's it. Get back out. And we got settings. Phone, let's see. I don't want to look at the number, so let's look at the display, see what kind of different options we have here. Got your singular default, probably just singular default, large font. Oh, you got Samson, simple pop up, which is really nice if you didn't, uh, if you've never seen it on the i320, this, uh, good gracious, this Samson uh, pop up. It's pretty neat. I'm going to set it to that. And we'll go back to the screen and show you that. But anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to make this short and sweet on the uh, showing this. Because uh, see the difference in that? It gives you kind of like a little control panel. You can go right and left and select your hot icons. Or you can scroll down. And it shows you the whole thing. And if you look down at the where it says no media you can actually control media player from there so hit your back button here get back there but anyway so let's just look at the actual device now you'll see more about the software as time goes on so let's see here you got your uh, back button you got uh, hang up call a little rocker switch there up down left right and the okay in the middle uh, two soft keys left and right or excuse me hard keys left or right which are when you're uh, let's go here when you want to uh, whatever is written right there are controlled by these soft keys if you use a smartphone you know what I'm talking about right back at it so let's see here keyboard not a lot to say there. You got your mic there, your head, uh, your earpiece there. On the side here, you got a jog dial, back button, micro SD compartment here where you slide that in there. If you can see that. At the top, we have the power button. And on the side, you got an up down uh, for your volume. See there. And, uh, What's this right here? Your headphone jack, I believe. Yeah, your headphone and your sync charge slot there. And that's it. Nothing at the bottom on the back. You got your battery compartment and your camera. 1.3 megapixel camera. So, but anyway, uh, that is the singular blackjack. And uh, looks like a great device. Nice and slim. Like I showed you earlier against the Motorola Q it's pretty uh, pretty good in comparison there so both great devices 
and uh, if you need a tri-band phone you got your 320 right here and you can see the differences in those keyboards there this one lights up too so anyway I'm Chris Lakeness Mobility Site and this was a first look of the Samson uh, or excuse me the Singler Blackjack and uh, look forward to uh, reviewing this and uh, we'll share that with you when the time comes have a good day bye